Hey, 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 what's going on, what my up, guys? What up, what up? What's good, my G? What's good with you, man? I'm all right, man. So where you at right now? As we speak, where are you at? Where are you located? Uh, I'm Detroit right now. Uh, I'm about to go to the Cairo, uh, Cairo uh, Lounge to get oh, you can... streaming in. You got to get that body right, right? Yes, sir. You know how it is. Yeah, so... That, actually, that's funny that you that's funny that you mentioned that you from uh, you you in Detroit right now because I was about to ask you where where you from because a lot of these players that you know what I'm saying are at these colleges don't naturally come from that city or that town so uh, it's cool to know that you from Detroit and you are across. Let me see how good your geography is. So myself, my name is Rico by the way. Salute my okay. guy. Uh, I'm from Canada. Yeah, so across from Detroit is what city in Canada? Windsor, man. Come on. Hey, my guy. <laughs> so, okay, so you know what it is. Right have you have you been? Have you been to Windsor? Yeah, yeah for sure. For okay, so time. what's the vibe? What's the vibe when you when you cross that border? What's the vibe? What do you feel? It's cool, you know. Uh, I just mainly go downtown, uh, just to the casino, or whatever. I mean, it's kind of like Detroit, basically on off the casino vibe where I, I went to. I haven't went any uh, clubbing, so it's basically it's just real cool vibes, you know. Cool people there. That's good. And Canadians are Canadians are they as nice as they as people say they are? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll give you that. Uh, so <laughs> I'm gonna I'm just kind of warm you up a little bit with some rapid fire questions. It's not one of those things where you gotta really think. And it's too hard. It's just like I hit you with something and you just gotta hit me with the answer, and then we go from there. Right, are you ready for it? Yeah. All right, let's let's do it. So uh, the go to meal for you when you're in Detroit, what's that meal that you go to? Philly got their cheesecakes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, excuse me, not cheesecakes. They got their uh, their steak, their steak and cheese. Uh, so, what do you guys have uh, in Detroit that you go to? Uh, Coney Island. Uh, me and my man's go back there. We get a three egg breakfast, uh, hash browns, um, uh, sausage, ham, bacon for all for seven dollars. So, you can't beat that. Oh, seven dollars. That's it, huh? Okay, that's the that's the way we roll. If you ever come, um, you ever come to Detroit, make sure you hit a Coney Island. Cold, uh, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm about that. I'm not that far away, though. You know what I'm saying? Um, so you went to UB. The whole craze, and I have to ask this because it is, uh, my answer throws everybody off and they don't understand it, but I don't give a damn. I stand by it. But if you're going to eat your wings, what, how are you saucing them? What are you dipping them in? Is it that ranch? Or is it that blue cheese? Or is it something else? it got to be a ranch. I'm a ranch guy. Oh, you're a ranch guy? So uh, yeah. I, I respect it because a lot of people are going to be like, you know what? That makes sense. He's a ranch guy. Yeah. I, I, I I use a sour cream, man. I'm a sour cream guy. People go like, what? They look at me like, what? There you go. They give me that look. Yeah. So, I mean, it is. everybody's got their own. <laughs> everybody's got their own vibe, right? So that's, I hear you. Um, Raptors or the 76ers? Who's taking the series? Raptors. For sure. Are they going to the finals? Nah, uh, no, nah, they got they got to play Milwaukee, so hell no. Nah. Okay, <laughs> you so you're on that Milwaukee train. Okay, I got you. So let's get into to the football chat. All right. Um. So I went and and looked up. Uh, because you I mean every fan, a fan is a fan, right? So you got to look up who your team drafted, who they're looking at, what prospect they have. So I went digging a little bit to see what what kind of what kind of athlete my boy Cam Lewis is. Um. So. 118 solo tackles in your career at UB. You got five career interceptions. So you, you can yeah. track the ball down, go for some picks. You got a pick six. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And you, you, you know how to track the ball by making people fumble. So you got three forced fumbles uh, along your career at the cornerback position. So I got to respect this. So ball's in the air. You have an opportunity to go for the interception. Or you can clean clock. You clean that dude out. Which opportunity are you taking? Are you going to go attempt for the pick six or the interception, or are you knocking dude out? I'm going for the pick. Get a chance of possession, man. Okay, so you're going for the pick. You want that turnover. Yeah, you want All right, so turnover. you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna avoid going for that hit stick. Yeah, man. Look, if we got a change, if we got an opportunity to change possession and, and have an opportunity to score, why not do that? Nobody care about the okay. game. It's, it's, it's a team game, man. We're trying to go score. It's a, it's a team. And you're corner, man. Corners love to just get that ball and try to make the difference. Flip flip the field. And I, I completely get that. Um, so let's get to the draft process, okay? So, And these are questions that uh, I personally am curious about. I'm, and, I'm, and I'm curious. I, I want to get it from your perspective. When you go undrafted, it's it's a tough deal because you, you put yourself out there to um, to 
you know what I mean? Make a, make a, make a career for yourself. You know what I mean? Make a dream come true and you go undrafted. What's the thought process in that, uh, in that stance? How, how do you go about that? Uh, it's just like, uh, any other thing that like kind of I went through and, uh, with my football career, you just gotta just work because you know, uh, people didn't think you were good enough to get drafted at the moment. So you just gotta go in, uh, put in that extra work that other draft picks probably not doing. Uh, getting that playbook extra hard that other people may not be doing just to get that 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 edge where for mini camp and OTAs and, and training camp. So you just gotta come in with a chip on your shoulder that you you belong here, and you're gonna make them uh you're gonna make them know that you belong there too. See, I respect it because there's a lot of there's a lot of times where uh, players get undrafted, they they're down on themselves and they think it's over, but it's never over. The amount of stories that you hear of undrafted players that end up being mega stars in this league is there. So yeah. I think um, I think you have a fantastic opportunity personally, but the hill the hill is steep. You're going to have to put some work in because that, yeah, that Bills definitely. secondary is – say it again? I said, yeah, most definitely. I knew, I knew uh, anywhere I went wasn't going to be uh, no cakewalk or anything, so I'm ready to put the work in. I've been putting the work in my whole football career, going through injuries and stuff like that, so I'm just ready. What are you? What are you listed at? Are you six feet, five eleven, five ten? What's your? What are you listed at? Your height and weight. Uh, <laughs> uh, I I give you true. I give you true height. Five five nine and a half, one ninety. Five nine and a half, one ninety. You know what? I had to ask that question because you go on in there and they kind of they list guys up. I remember when I played ball, I was like a buck seventy, but uh, and I they played they put me at a buck ninety five to five eleven. You know what I mean to make it look nice. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, oh shoot, you're gonna yeah. boost me up like that. So I had to ask that. Um, now, here's another thing, too, in, in terms of the draft process and so on and so forth. Who do you have to notify, like, when you're ready to declare for the draft? And what – because you're a senior. So, I mean, it's, it's either, you, either you're done or you're, you're declaring. So, like, what do you – who do you who do you tell or who do you inform of what you're doing? And what was – who? The, I guess the question I'm asking is, who is in your ear saying, okay, so this is the process. Here's what's going to happen. How does that process go? I want to know how that, when you're trying to get into the league and how it goes from there. Uh, first, uh, you're like your junior year coming into uh, your senior year. So whatever, uh, a couple scouts come come in. You feel like out of question questionnaire type deal. Uh, just to get yourself in a database type deal. So height and weight and then questionnaires and, and then one IQ test. And you do that, so that basically kind of do it. Like if you you at our schools, like if you trying to declare for the draft, then this is what you need to do. Uh, scouts for a couple teams are coming in, so they want to get height and weight and stuff like that. So that's basically my my process of, of declaring for the draft. And then uh, once after the season, you know, you have many agents reach out to you and and try to talk to you and let you know about the process. But you you never know the true process. Because uh, they're not players, you know, they're just agents. So uh, right. this this process, it was just like I, I was just kind of going in blind, but uh, I enjoyed I enjoyed all of it. The the work, the countless hours of waking up and two days and putting in work and stuff like that, and just uh, going through the process with my family because you know they're new to this too, and uh, I was just doing it for them for them and trying to make the most of my opportunity. Do you feel you got a lot of pressure on you right now? Uh, not really. No, uh, no. I just don't. I just don't want to uh, overthink anything. Just go out there and play my game like I usually do. That's all it is. Just football. So now that the the process is over, now you're waiting for phone calls. So bills, the bills give you a call. I'll just simplify as that. Who gave you the call and what what conversation? If you're allowed to say, what kind of conversation was it? Uh, first I got a call from my my agent. You know, he's saying uh, the bills had a lot of love for me. Especially at the local day, uh, went up there and had a couple of meetings and stuff like that. So I was able to talk to a couple of coaches, go over a couple, go over a couple of things, and uh, I liked it. You know, I got a good vibe from the coaches and stuff like that. So um, during uh, you know day three, whatever, coach texted me like, "Yeah, you know, uh, we never know." Uh, defense coordinator texted me, uh, "You never know what what can happen. Just stay ready." So uh, I say like round. Uh, seven come around. Um, I called my agents. He was just saying the Bills are calling. Uh, they want you. I don't know if they're gonna draft you, but they really want you as a free agent. So just stay on the lookout. And uh, I actually uh, got a call from the head coach. So uh, talk to him. Let's go. 
Yeah, I got to talk to him a little bit, and then um, I asked, I talked to the defensive coordinator again, and then uh, we know. We Leslie Frazier, okay. Yeah. By the way, I just want to let you know, your boy Littman Johnson, I just want to let you know, Littman Johnson is watching right now, so if you want to tell him what's up, he's, he's watching right now. Anthony Johnson is saying, my boy going to eat. He, 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 has, yeah. he has a full support for you. <laughs> so yeah, my boy when, AJ, he going to Tampa, man. There you go. So speaking of that, I, I don't know whether this is true or not. My man, maybe he can answer it because there's rumors that always spread out that uh, any players from UB, they're not necessarily uh, wanting to get uh, get that call from the Bills. They'd rather go elsewhere. Uh, how how do you how were you in that regard? Were you like, yo, I want to go Buffalo. I want to stay in Buffalo. I want to do that. Or were you just open to go anywhere? I mean, truly, you open to go anywhere, wherever, especially going uh, free agent. You're trying to go to the best opportunities to make that 53. And uh, once I got that, that call uh, and I looked at the roster and I talk, talked to my agent, I felt like it was the best opportunity uh, for me. And the love that the coaches gave me, it was the best opportunity for me to go make that 53. I mean, yeah, I've been there for four years, so I kind of like know the area or anything like that. So I guess it's kind of like second home now. So I'm, I'm cool to be back. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So – now let's let's try to get into the football talk now. Um, McDermott, Leslie Frazier, that defense. Um, listen, man, that we call those guys in the backfield the bill collectors. You know what I'm saying? We batting balls down, we picking balls off. That's that's just the defense. We got a top five defense, solid. You're not going to some bottom of the league type of defense. You know what I'm saying? So uh, coming to this coming to this team, you're in the backfield with Micah Hyde, Jordan Poyer. Raphael sure. Bush, you feel me? You got the newer guys like Saran Neal. Uh, you got uh, you mean uh, Teron Johnson, uh, Levi Wallace, undrafted corner. So EJ Gaines coming back to Buffalo. So we got a slew of players. I don't want to. I want to scare you. I don't want to scare you. <laughs> Competition is gonna be. You know what I'm saying? Competition is gonna be running rampant. So what exactly is Cam Lewis bringing to the table that's gonna make the coaches be like, "Ooh, that's why we brought him in." What are you bringing to the table? Uh, basically just shit, hard work. Uh. I can play anything they want me to play. Shit, I can hold, hold the kick, uh, the field goals if they want me to, but I'm going to bust my ass on special teams and then get in that nickel position and, and do what I can do best. And, you know, I've been playing that uh, my senior year. I can cover, I can hit. And, you know, I'm going to get in the, uh, the film. It's basically all the mental aspects of the game. If you learn that defense, you, you'll be able to perform it at a faster pace. So try to go in there, learn that defense, and then just play ball like I usually do. I like that. So, and here's another thing I like about you. I like your toughness. You busted your hand. I don't know what you did to your hand. You busted your hand um, during the year, your senior year, and you said, "I think if I'm if I'm correct me if I'm wrong," you said, "Bump all that." I'm not saying staying out all season. I'm playing even when I got a club on my hand, and you were still making plays. How does that affect you as a corner when your hand? You need your hands, man. Jamming, pressing, go for. How does that affect you? How'd you how'd you how'd you get over that? Uh, you had I had to really kind of improvise because it was it was really challenging during practice week. Uh, once I first put the cast on, I didn't really know if I was gonna play that week. I was I had a terrible week of practice, and uh, it was just trying to get used to it because yeah, you need both of your hands, especially the jam. And uh, I was just trying to do everything one handed and and stuff like that. But I kind of got a rhythm uh, with it. You just you gotta hit it in certain places. You gotta hit the club in certain places uh, of the uh, shoulder pads just to get your point. Get that and get that push you need if you didn't have had a club there. And then, um, you know, the tackling, it, it was kind of fun with the tackling uh, aspect with it because you just, you're just basically throwing that club around. You, you don't you don't feel anything. And then I'll just, Listen. Once, once I had that first play, whatever, I normal fell back home, loose, and I was able to go go get it. I'll tell you this, though, because you, 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 you had a similar play um, like EJ Gaines had a few, a few, a couple years back, where my man pulled a hammy, and receiver caught the ball, was come back, and my man kind of limped up and slapped the ball out of his hands. I saw you made a play with that club, and you yeah. smack a ball out with that club. Okay, so you made that, you used that to your advantage. I appreciate that because that shows me toughness. Yeah, none's gonna keep you out. Uh, I like it. So inside corner or outside corner? What's your preference? Uh, anywhere, but uh, shoot, I'm an inside corner now, most definitely. Oh, so you slot. Yeah. So you a slot corner. So you're gonna be yo, you're gonna be going against Teron Johnson. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be good. Yeah. Uh 
What number? Did they give you a number yet? No, nah, I find out tomorrow. You know, I had I had uh, up there tomorrow. So. Uh, oh, you know they're gonna give you a nasty number, right? Yeah, it don't matter. Like, you're gonna get a. You're gonna. I came to Buffalo. You're going to get a number like 59. I came to Buffalo, and they gave me 39 my freshman year, and I, I rocked it out. So whatever number I got, you know, I'm going to make it work. Hey, listen, 39 is not an ugly number, man, because, uh, you know what I mean, undrafted. In college, in college, it's not your ideal number. But, you know, in the NFL, yes, it is. I'm going to make it work. There you go. Uh, are you are you better press or playing off? Uh, I'm sort of like a mixture of both, but if, if I had to choose, I'd say press. I want to know, is there something that you want Bills fans to know? Because we do these interviews to expose uh, fans to players. Because a lot of these guys, they just don't know who you are. And it's not a disrespectful thing. It's a it's a Cam has to show who he is. Just like Levi Wallace did. Just like Robert Foster did. People are like, who? Robert Foster? Robert Foster started catching touchdowns. Oh, that who Robert Foster is. Yeah, so Foster, yeah. when it comes to Cam Lewis, Cam Lewis is going to have to make a name for himself. So, um... When it comes to uh, this year, I mean, I want you to to ball out, do what you must. I want people to know who Cam Lewis is. Uh, do you have like a signature thing that you do before, you know, games? Uh, do you do you kind of chill out, listen to your music? Do you kind of like socialize? You joke or what? What's your deal before games? Uh, sure. I'm just uh, you know headphones locked in type of deal, but uh, I don't like to be too uptight because then you, you lose your focus. So you you still got to joke around, have have a little fun, but uh, once that pregame comes in and we out there warming up and stuff, I'm locked in. So just basically the headphones type of guy, just get my mind right. Who who did you grow up uh, chat uh, to rooting for? Because I mean, you grew up in Detroit. Did you grow up a Detroit Lion fan? You know it, man. Hometown. Ah, so you a Lion fan? So you still got a little love for the Lions a little bit? I mean, a little bit. Yeah, you know, they always they always have place <laughs> in my heart. But you know, I'm all Buffalo now. Who was the most influential? player on your team teammate that kind of made you kind of like i gotta step my game up or whether you're watching somebody get drafted uh or whatever the case may be who would you say on on ub's team that was that was your guy that was the guy that you looked up to and y'all were close who's your who's that guy for you uh i say it's like it was it wasn't a single guy it was uh i guess i'll say it was my uh my freshman my class that i came with in with uh, we were all close, you know, uh, K.J. Osborne, Tyree Jackson, Chuck Harris. Um, A.J. is a part of that. Khalil Hodges is a part of that. Um, um, who else? James O'Hagan. Khalil Hodges, I hear that. Yeah, all, all those guys, uh, we pushed each other every single day to get everybody better. Uh, every single day we, you know, got the team on our back and stuff like that. So I wouldn't say they weren't the most influential, but we, we kept each other in line to do what we had to do. And we seen uh, we seen somebody working. Okay, we need to work harder because we're trying to win this whole. We're trying to turn this whole program around. And I think we did that. There, UB we went to two and ten to, to ten and four in in a couple years, which is which is crazy. But no yeah, so I, I guess no, I, I, that. I give it all to to my my uh, my class that I came in with. So speaking of your class, so I got a question from Stevie Cyber seven one six. Says question for Cam. He says, who on the Bulls roster this year? Should fans be on the lookout for on the defense? On the defensive side, yeah. Shoot, this year, um, who we got in? Uh, I give my uh, my guy pre Washington uh, corner, fly corner. That was uh, that was my mini me. So uh, that's your mini me. Okay. Yeah, he gonna do some things, and then um, you got James Patterson too, uh, backer. Uh, he's going to do some things this year, too. There you go. So I'm going to ask you a few questions. I'm going to ask you a few questions, then we're going to wrap it up because uh, I, I, I have to dive into the offensive side of the ball. I know you're a D guy, yeah. but I'm going to jump into the offensive side of the ball. So you already know that we signed one of your teammates. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Guy. You know who I'm talking about. You feel me? So there you go. Well, what are you guys calling? What's his nickname? TJ3. TJ3. Okay. So TJ3. Right now on the offense, whether you know this or not, I don't know if you did your homework now, we got we got the franchise, you know what I'm saying, Mr. Jumpman, Josh Allen, you know what I'm saying, running the helm. He's got the quarterback spot on lock. Mm -hmm. Then you got Barkley, Matt Barkley as the, as the as the backup. Then you got DA, Derek Anderson, and we got TJ3. Now, 
there's a lot of folks that have the the mindset, and I'm one of them, that I don't need two veteran QBs on the roster behind my franchise. I need to develop not only my young quarterback, but someone on the bottom. So here's where you're here's where you come in. What is Tyree Jackson gonna bring to this quarterback room that you saw at UB that he can definitely bring to the Bills squad that nobody knows until he shows you? What is it about him that that makes him special? Uh, just like he, you know how he did in Buffalo, man. Uh, he soak up everything, so he, he's a, he's a game. I mean, he knows the game of football. Uh, he wants to learn it, and he had he doesn't have a problem like developing as a quarterback because he loves the game that much. So you know, at Buffalo, I think um, coming into the Bills, you know, he's really gonna do do the exact same thing. You know, his game. Everybody sees his game. He, he has the the throwing arm. He can run if he if he uh, have to and. He's uh, able to make those plays, and um, he just gonna uh, you know sit there, develop behind another uh, great quarterback. You know he he uh, trains with him sometimes, and um, he's just gonna wait his turn like anyone else can. And uh, I just can't wait to see what he can do. You know he's all he all he I'm can gonna, do right now is just soak it up and develop. I'm gonna put you on the spot. Is he gonna be the third string quarterback on this team? Man, I'm rooting for second team, but you know who knows. I mean, <laughs> okay, okay, I res- I respect that. I like that. Um, people are gonna want to know because a lot of people talk about Josh Allen is he's got the biggest arm in the league, if not one of the biggest. Him alongside with with Pat Mahomes, but Tyree Jackson can 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 throw the ball. Yeah, he can see it's it. gonna be interesting to see who can throw the ball further. Who you think got it, Tyree or Josh Allen? I'm gonna go with my boy. You know, hey, hey, you gonna create fights in that locker room, boy. <laughs> hey, hey, I gotta go, with my guy, man. No, I've been held it back with him, so you know I gotta go with him. Man. I got you. You know what? Um, and I'm gonna hold that to you because right now, when I'm, we're trying to, we're trying to get some uh down pat with our guy Tyree. So, uh, if you see your boy, tell him Rico's gonna be coming, coming for him, and we're gonna do a little lit uh conversation. How you feel about this conversation right now? Because I didn't really drill you too hard. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm keeping cool. things light. Yeah, it's cool. You feel me? Because yeah, I, I want you, I want you sticking around on this on this roster. Because I, I, I for one am a big fan of underdogs. You know what I'm saying? The dudes that all 32 teams passed up. You know what I'm saying? Seven times. Every round they're like, nah, 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 nah. So now you got to really prove yourself. So I'm, yeah. I, I love the underdog. To me, I see as an underdog. You got to now battle out and find your spot. I really hope you find your spot at the nickel position, especially nickel. Because right now, these guys in this league, the the name of the game is in the middle of the field, man. You got to yeah. learn how to tackle. You got to cover inside, outside. It's tough. You feel me? So I, yeah. I want you to have a lit season. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy, Rico, interviewing Cam Lewis. What's your nickname, man? You have a nickname? Anybody give you a nickname at all? What's the word? No, they call me Killer Cam, man. Killer Cam, what? Yeah, yeah go. Oh, you going you gonna have a, a dirty lit name like that? And hey, that's my nickname, but I just go by Cam Lewis though. Yo, let me tell you something. If you got a name like Killer Cam, you better come with it, hey, cause you are gonna get roasted <laughs> if you don't. You know what I mean? No, Killer I Cam. You. All right, I man. You, man. <laughs> so listen, I'm gonna let you be, cause uh, I know there's 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 a lot of things that you're gonna be getting. You gotta go through your Cairo. You gotta go through your Cairo. Get your body right. Um, listen, man. I hope that we can do something like this in the near future. You got to remember, man, Buffalo Fanatics, we, we we rep the people, man. The people ask for certain things. We got to give it to them. So uh, I hope I hope you appreciate that we had this little interaction um, because there's going to be more. And I expect to have more because you're going to be on that 53-man roster. Am I lying? No, you ain't lying. You're telling the truth, man. And hopefully the Bucks become haters and they say, Peace out to your boy Litman Johnson, and we scoop that boy up and bring him to Buffalo. I'll be lit. We get Tyree yeah, Cam, too. Killer Cam, and we get the Litman Johnson. Hey, I'm just saying, man. We're putting out there. So be- before before we we lock out and get out of here, yo, talk to the people. Let them know what they're gaining with Cam Killer Cam Lewis. What are they What are they getting with this guy? Uh, man, you're know, just getting a hard worker that's uh willing to do anything for the team, trying to get that Super Bowl back to Buff. Uh, you know, win some games, man. Let's change the city around. Uh, and boy, Cam Lewis here, uh, cornerback, Detroit, Michigan. All right, so I hope that you get your number that you want. I hope that you really come in it, come with it. No injuries. We're knocking on wood. I want you to come with it as hard as you can, man. You need to let these coaches know why they brought you here and make 
noise. So shout out to my guy, Cam Lewis. I appreciate the time that you gave uh, Buffalo Fanatics. Uh, I hope to do this again with you. Talk to your boys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get Lyndon Johnson out here. I know he's watching right now. I'm going to get Tyree, and we're going to talk it up. So it's your boy, Cam Lewis. Yo, we'll see you sometime during the season, my guy. Peace and love, right. my dude. Right, no right, doubt. Ladies and gentlemen, and that's that. Uh, I hope you guys appreciate these type, you know what I mean, of interviews that we do with these players, man. Because, I mean, a lot of these guys don't have that voice, right? Um, they're, they're, the only voice they got is their play on the field. But sometimes it doesn't get, it doesn't, uh, we don't get a chance to see that. So sometimes you got to have the opportunity to have these interviews with these guys. And, by the way, Lyndon Johnson, I see you, son. I see you in lurking. So we need to get you on here. Uh, I'm, I'm going to get uh, we, we're going to contact you. We're going to send you a message. We'll get this going, um, and uh, we'll find out what's really good because I want to know uh, how you feel about a lot of things. But anyway, that being said, I appreciate each and every one of you guys tuning in. Um, if you guys are catching this on the flip back, catch it. Let me know. If you guys have people that you guys want us to hit up, uh, all you got to do is let us know, man. Let our guy Bobby G, Bobby G, I call him Bobby G, uh, Bobby B know. Hit him up in the DMs, and uh, we'll, we'll work it out, man. Shoot. Well, hopefully we can get Easy Ed Oliver. You feel me? Get Cody Ford. Get all the cats, man. We'll do whatever we can, how we can do it. Get the, the people you guys want that we can interview and, and give you guys some fun. I hope I, I, I hope I kept it entertaining for you guys, um, and I appreciate that shit. Hopefully, we can get Josh Allen if he's not too busy. You feel me? So, there's going to be some friendly competition. We're going to have a crazy, crazy uh, roster going forward. I mean, Cam Lewis, I'm not saying that he's, he's luck. He's by all means not, um, but he's going to be pushing – uh, especially for that inside. Um, so this is going to be interesting, man, because uh, it's, it's going to be Liddy, man. This is going to be a crazy, crazy year. There's enough competition at the safety position. There's enough competition going down at corner, linebacker, defensive end, defensive tackle. Listen, this is the year of competition. That's the way we like it. That's the way we should do it. Uh, and hopefully we bring in Ziggy Ansa. If Ziggy Ansa comes in, woof. It's gonna be it's gonna be a, a hell of a, a hell of a front seven. Uh, so until next time, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy. I appreciate each and every one of you guys tuning in. Uh, we'll do this again. If you guys appreciate this, you guys know what to do. Follow us on every platform. Hit us up on that YouTube. I got a video coming up in the next couple of days. So until next time, it's your boy.